What is up mortals, Dan Echo one here and welcome to the ninth week of Cade 6s cash stash locations. This week we're back on the EDZ and uh, we've got a few new spots, I was very surprised this week. Obviously once again Bungie's done that thing where they've made the map really difficult to read and they've put them all over the place. So we've got the first page here and then the second page. Really on the second page all we have is this one lonely one down the bottom here across the bridge. But here we are, moving on to the first one. This first one here is in a pretty uh, pretty familiar location when it comes to the chests on the EDZ. I don't think we've actually had it before, but it's very close by to one that we have had before. But all you're going to want to do is just jump on your sparrow here and pull all the way through to this side. You're going to keep following through this alleyway until you've come to this ledge. And instead of jumping through and following through like you would for the mitre quest, you're going to turn around and it's going to be up on this top ledge here. The second chest for this week is going to be right in the Frostlands, right near where the uh, the public event would be happening. You're going to want to start off here. And you're just going to make a, a 180 degree turn. Obviously it's going to be a lot faster if you jump onto your sparrow and just blaze up this street here. And as we can see, if you've got a keen eye, you can see it in the right top hand corner there. But the best way to get to it is just to zoom straight past it and jump straight up onto this ledge and it'll take you right there instead of having to clamber all the way up. Coming onto the third chest here, this is the one that if you turn 180 degrees once again, if you this is the one that was on the very bottom map, the, the second part of the map, and uh, we're just going to be heading down there. Now I didn't realize you could actually get to this part of the map and it was quite interesting to see that this was actually implemented into the patrol zone. Obviously I just haven't uh, explored enough, haven't had much reason to, but that's what I like about these chest locations. It does actually prompt you to, to get around the, the patrol area. But as we can see here, it's just going to be on this uh, on this fallen truck. The fourth one here is also in a very different location. Uh, I don't think we've ever had this before, and uh, I was actually very happy when I when I got to this chest, and you'll be able to see very shortly. But from the gulch, we're going to turn around, and we're just going to keep tearing it down this pathway here. And you're going to want to pop down under this bridge. Now, once you get to this point here, you're going to want to jump off, and you're pretty much going to be backtracking along this cliff. It's quite easy to miss, honestly, and just watch your footing here, because it, uh, it is a bit slippery and hard, and hard to grab. But we're just going to come up to this building here that we passed, and if we turn directly left here, we can see the crate right here. And uh, this, this blew me away. Two legendary faction weapons. I was pretty happy, seeing as I didn't side with Dead Orbit, but I did want their pulse. But I did end up getting the pulse. Anyway, this final one here, this final one, is going to be on the way to um, the Black Forest where you get all your subclasses. We have seen this one before, and obviously it's easiest just to jump onto your sparrow once you've cleared this ledge. I'm just, uh, just going to let you know that one, I found that one out the hard way. But once you've cleared that ledge, you're just going to want to jump on your sparrow before you hit the new zone, and you'll get there pretty quickly. So just keep following it as if you would go along it, and you can see just at the very top here the glow. This chest is going to be right here. Anyway, that's the Cade's chest for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me and it helps other people find my content as well. Good luck and I'll catch you guys out there.